Unicorn here. I am so happy to be back with a very short video. This shouldn't be longer than 15 minutes. I want to kind of um, let the brothers know who do come across my channel. I know I just made that video about, you know, you're going to die alone, lol, right? And there was some guy in my uh, comments, I'm, I don't remember his name, forgive, forgive me, who was just super duper offended. And I'm just like, yo, I'm not talking about you. I mean, if this is not rhetoric that you throw out, then why are you offended? This this is not about you. This is not specific to you. Again, I only have two moderators and they are both African-American men. I need you to understand that they are both African-American men. I do not hate black men. This is not a black male bashing channel. However, it is a pro-black woman channel. I am for black women. I do not need permission or approval to be for my mother, for my nieces, for my sisters, for myself, okay? That's what it is. And if you're anti-Black female, then okay, maybe some of these descriptions are about you. But if you're not and you know that you're not, why are you offended? Like, for example, I think it's um, I think it's in Black women's best interest who do this kind of content to you know, say things like um, Dusty when they're talking about, you know, a certain type of man. Now, Dusty, is it overplayed? Sure it is. Can they do better about a new word? Sure we can. We can all be a little bit more creative in the things that we say. But if you're not a Dusty or the age old adage that the African-American, you know, what is it, proverb, if it don't apply, let it fly. I remember I used to um, I used to really let Kevin Samuels get under my skin and my very high value African-American man who's in the top, you know, 3% of earners when it comes to African-American men. He's like, babe, he's not talking about you. And I was like, yeah, but you know, I'm over 30 and I'm this and I'm this. He's not talking about you. Why are you offended? And although that helped me to become less offended, I was like, at the end of the day, I'm still offended on behalf of my sister. So he does talk to like that, because honestly, there are certain women who call into the show who just, I mean, he, <laughs> the men in the audience couldn't get with those women. He couldn't get with some of those women. Some of those women were just on there to expand their brand, to get some, you know, to get noticed, to get attention. I'm starting to realize that some of the women who call in are not just calling in because they want advice. Some women are calling in because it's a joke and they want exposure. But anyhow, when I'm talking about black men who black women ought to just leave alone indefinitely, this is what I mean. I, I want to drive home this point because I'm just like, look at this man. If, if, if you don't look like this, act like this, no, it, it's not about you. Here at the Chevron gas station on Azalea Road, a woman was trying to walk inside this store when a man just walked up to her and started attacking her last night. And it all was caught on that camera. A surveillance camera captured these terrifying moments of a rough robbery outside of a Chevron gas station. A mobile woman ambushed, grabbed, and then eventually thrown to the ground. For it to be right around the corner from where I live, um, I'm completely shaken up. This all happening at the Chevron gas station at Azalea and Michael around 7.30 last night. Raven Cheese wasn't here. You just never know where trouble is. In the video, you can see the unidentified woman pull up to a gas pump, then get out of her car to walk inside. That's when police say 28-year-old Brandon Young grabbed her and lifted her in the air as he tried to rob her. The Are you a carjacker like 28-year-old Brandon Young? 
Do you beat on women like 28-year-old Brandon Young? Do you slam them to the ground for their keys because you're a dusty without a car and you need a ride like 24-year-old Brandon Young or 28 or whatever he said about this horrible human being? Is that you? Is that your reflection? It isn't? Okay, so then this kind of rhetoric shouldn't offend you. Because in reality, women are under friggin' attack by shiftless men who can't, I mean, he couldn't, he, he couldn't have done that to a man. He wasn't going to do that to a man with his string bean, soggy spaghetti noodle built self. He, was, he wasn't gonna do that. He was waiting for a woman. And not that it matters, but that looks like it's a white woman. I, I could be wrong. But I mean, even he's struggling with her. Like, you know, she's putting up a fight, but like not swinging. She's more like struggling, you know, against him. And and like, like these are people, honestly, I don't care if the police shoot them. No, I don't care who this guy is. I don't, I don't care if he gets a George Floyd knee. I, I really don't, even George Floyd himself, after learning his history, of you know holding a black woman hostage at gunpoint at her pregnant belly with a loaded gun and not taking care of his kids and like 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 take out the trash are you the trash you're not right you're a gamefully employed tax paying law abiding you know believing black man right so then i'm not talking about you one of the things that I did wrong that my partner was telling me about, but he was like, you have this thing where you're like, I'm every black girl. It's all it, right? Like I just identify so strongly with my sister. So when I see them being bashed, I'm just like, all right, that's me. That's you, that's me. But I'm just like, everybody is not an extension of you. There is some place where you end and another person begins. Like, I get it. He's got black skin and, and whatever kind of, you know, coarse hair. Th this guy is not you. He does not represent you. So stop being mad at me. The woman fought back but was eventually thrown to the ground. Police say Young grabbed her keys and ran off before being arrested this morning. It could have been me, so that's why you always have to watch. You have to look up, you know, be aware of your surroundings. It may like she said, it could have been me. Some of these random killings, assault, whatever it is, it really could have been me. A lot of these women who are being attacked, I mean, I myself have been kidnapped. You don't get to tell me how to respond to having been kidnapped or having been, you know, interpersonal violence, you know, or 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 sexually molested and on public transit. Not once, not twice, more than that. More than three, four, five times, okay? So when I'm talking about women and the protection of women, like, I get it. It's not your bag. It's not your problem. You don't go through it. It's just like how we cannot expect, you know, what is it? People of no color, printer paper colored people to just pick up the, 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 the mantle of, oh, I'm going to fight against, you know, acism, it supremacy. It's like, yo, they, they, they are not experiencing those kind of things. And a lot of them don't even think that stuff exists because they're not bearing the brunt of it. So I get it, you don't bear the brunt of women's issues, like a woman of color would, like a black woman would. And so you don't experience these scenes and you're just like, huh, oh, you're just being divisive because yeah, and you know what, that's exactly what they think when we talk about cultural diversity and universities and Fortune 500 companies and wherever we go, oh, you're just being divisive because no, <laughs> we're actually being inclusive and promoting inclusion, right? But like, you know, people will automatically think because you're looking out for your group, there's something wrong. Look, there's all kind of legislation and rights for, you know, all purpose flower colored people. There's all kinds of rights for the alphabet community. Black women, not so much, not so much. We're not really qualifying as these, you know, vulnerable groups of people, like, like no. Look all over you, it's like, it's okay to drag us, talk bad about us, whatever it is, abuse us, stalk us. I'm like, we can report the report videos until our, our eyes cross with severe doxing, stalking people. Like, it, it doesn't matter. There's a whole lot of protection that we don't have because, because according to, you know, 
misogyny and, and anti-black sentiment, you know, which couples to create misogynoir, we're just some of the least protected, least respected people in America. And we have to fight that battle for ourselves. So again, if you're not some kind of a predatory human being, like, why are you worried about it? Why do you, why do you feel so attacked? Why do you feel so put down? Made me scared for my daughter and my wife, you know what I'm saying? They come here too. This isn't the first time this gas station has made the news. Back in June, a clerk was held up as two men demanded money. Shots were fired, but nobody was hurt. The suspects got away with some cash. I'm scared all the time to stand outside for a minute. The gas station manager. People like us, people like, you know, innocent people get help every time. So we need, all we need is just protect. Despite the scary situation, she says she'll be back. I'm still going to come here uh, and try to keep my eyes open. At last check, Young is still behind bars tonight. He should face a judge later this week for the robbery charge. We're live in Mobile tonight. Tyler Finger, Fox 10 News. I'm going to read some of the comments here just to see what the sentiment, the overall sentiment is. Um, as we can see from the video, the man used his incredible intelligence to assess the best way to physically harm and rob a weaker, smaller individual who happens to be female. What a great member to have roaming around in our society. Now, here's the deal. I agree with this comment, even though this person's name is Angelic Noose. I don't have to tell you what that means. Nevertheless, I may not agree with this person's whole ideology on life and perspective on black people, but I agree with this comment here. That's not a person who should be walking around. <sighs> Unapologetic white man, winner. This one says, Notice everyone says they are upset by this. Also notice no one did anything to stop him. The police are not hired to protect you, which is weird because on every police car it says to protect and to serve. They just show up after this kind of thing has already happened. You have to take your safety into your own hands. Get a gun, get proficient with a gun, get a permit. When you pull up to a place like this, before you unlock and get out of your car, look around for odd details and people. Now, one of the things that alarmed me, like, like, okay, so this jail person says concealed carry would fix this problem. Also pay attention to your surroundings. If someone starts approaching, be prepared to fight. Now, here's what I understand about this woman's body language, because honestly, like the way that she, she, like he was walking up so close to her. I almost wanted to tell her, you know, move get out of his 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 uh path but honestly women like because she might have thought the guy was attracted to her she might have thought the guy wanted her phone number and sometimes if you're by yourself and you're like nine nah, with it no nah, i don't want you to have my number boo get away from me whoop -de -whoop, or start walking in the other way that makes men more aggressive it makes them even more aggressive and so sometimes they're not as violent when you're just like kind of chilled out. Like, oh yeah, mm, he's walking closer to me. Don't move too much to the left or to the right because it's going to trigger. So that's like you all the type of watch. You have to look up, you know, be aware of your surroundings. It made me scared for my daughter and my wife. You know what I'm saying? They come here too. Yeah, a terrifying attack caught on camera at a mobile gas station it has a lot of people in shock tonight. A guy tries to rob a woman and steal her car in broad daylight. The woman, though, turns the tables and fights back. All this happening at that Chevron on Azalea Road at Michael Boulevard. The video posted on Facebook yesterday and has now been shared more than 11,000 times. Fox News' Shelby Amara is joining us in studio tonight. And Shelby, you talk with a local self-defense expert who has some tips on how we can protect ourselves in a situation like that. Yeah, I did, Byron and Lenise. And hopefully you're never caught in a crime like this. But as you can see, it can happen no matter what time of the day it is. The head coach at Spring Hill Taekwondo just hopes if evil does attack, 
you'll be prepared. The hair-raising moments a local woman barely saw coming all caught on camera. Watch as she pulls up to the Chevron gas station on Azalea and Michael. When she begins to head inside, a lurking man ambushes, grabs, and then slams her to the ground. Mobile police say it was 28-year-old Brandon Young who attacked her. Police say Young grabbed her keys and ran off before being arrested this morning. Mm. We showed the shocking video to Spring Hill Taekwondo head coach Burton Webb. Broad daylight doesn't mean that you're safe. He also had some tips on defending yourself. First, get rid of all distractions. When we're at gas stations, when we pull up to the gas stations, the first thing I would say is keep your door locked, get off your phone, um, get your card out, okay? Get the card that you're gonna use, look. Webb says in a moment like this, if you can, run for help. I would beeline into the store, get around as many people as I possibly can. Somebody coming after your purse or coming after your phone or coming after your car, all those things can be replaced. You can't. And like this young girl did in a May kidnapping attempt in Escambia County, Florida, Webb says if someone tries to pick you up, drop to the ground and become dead weight. And if you can, attack back and fast. At any point, you know, just throw an elbow, a knee, something, strike to the face, strike to the eye. And the suspect, Brandon Young, is charged with third degree robbery. He was booked into Metro this morning. Lanice. You want to argue? I can't argue with you. You mad. Explain the remix. I can't argue with you. No.